Oregon is now in a state of emergency because of wildfire threats. Governor Kate Brown made the announcement on Saturday. The we moved to Oregon as climate refugees from Southern California fires. Up here in Oregon, they're having their same problems of fires, and this is going to be something that's going to be ongoing into the future. There's no way to get by with what has already been done to the environment. And fires are going to be something that's going to be with us for years, if not generations. So Eco Scouts is an organization we started in Oregon to help people prepare for the worst that can happen and to improve the environment and promote sustainable living. Impacting thousands of people several days. Schools and plenty of homes fall under that umbrella as well. Allison Dobsha of PGE explains the company's call to cut power. We definitely don't take the decision lightly to shut off power to anyone. We're really doing this um, in these high risk fire conditions in order to mitigate those risks. One hour ago, a red flag warning kicked in, signaling high fire danger for Oregon and Southwest Washington. Eco Scouts is an organization that has done extensive research into new products that can help everybody. For one thing, we've run across the ultimate power generating backup system that works by three methods, by plugging it into a wall, plugging it into a car, or adding solar panels to it. Now, on a regular gas generator, you need gasoline. What if you can't get to a gas station? Or what if you don't have enough gasoline stored? Plus, it creates all kinds of pollution and is not a viable solution for a total home backup. We've discovered generating systems that are very simple and powerful that could power just your devices, to tying into your own home grid and giving you a total backup solution for any home or an RV on raw land or power wherever you need it, whether you're working your land for construction or just need a power source to take with you. Douglas, Lincoln, Tillamook, Marion, and Polk Dry, counties. Windy conditions, fuel flames, and smoke around the region. Uh, for the foreseeable future, we don't have really an end date at this point just because of the fire activity. Harry Estev is with the Oregon Department of Environmental Quality. He says a lot of the smoke in the Portland metro area is from the Cedar Creek fire near Oak Ridge. The air quality right now is moderate which means it's still fine to be outside doing outdoor activities or running your air conditioner or having your windows open. But uh, in places like Oak Ridge, the air quality is, is up to the top of the scale at hazardous. It's just not safe to breathe that air. In conclusion, I'd like to urge everybody to come up with a backup plan of what they're going to do in the case of having power outages due to storms or fires. Uh, being prepared is up to you. It's uh, every person has to decide what they're going to do or depend on the power companies or what have you. But we suggest everybody come up with a plan. We're Eco Scouts. Visit us online or uh, visit us on YouTube. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Alert. The risk of health effects is increased for everyone. And maroon means hazardous at 301 or higher. This marks a health warning of emergency conditions. Everyone is more likely to be affected.